Over the past year on LearnQuick, I've learned to do a bunch of stuff. Wheelie a bike, spin a basketball, do the Rubik's Cube, none of which have required any substantial gain in strength. Well, today in this episode, I'm gonna find out how long it's gonna take me to learn how to do muscle-ups. So you might be wondering what a muscle-up is. Basically, it's a combination of a pull-up and a dip. You pull yourself up on the bar and continue moving upwards so that the bar ends up below your waist. It requires explosive strength, timing and technique to get up on the bar. Muscle ups work the back and biceps muscles heavily as well as the triceps, chest and your core. Gabriel makes these look easy. He's absolutely jacked. These are really, really hard. So I'm going to set the milestone at five muscle ups. First things first, let's see if I can do one. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna train every other day until I can do this. And I'm gonna start with just doing pull-ups and dips. So uh, yeah, this is day one, hour zero. So I've been training for a while now, I'm getting much stronger, my pull-ups are getting much better, but I still haven't managed to do one single muscle-up. So I ordered these. These are resistance bands and what you do is you tie this around the bar and then you stand on this part and it pushes you up and helps you do a muscle up. This one obviously provides more help than this skinny one does so my idea is to start with this one, transition to this one and then start doing unassisted muscle ups. How do you get in it? Try both. <laughs> One, two. I thought I was going to be able to do this. Okay, I genuinely think I'm strong enough to do this with those bands. I just don't think I have the technique down at all. It feels as if I'm all over the place. So, practice, practice, practice. Yes! No. So all I have to do now is reduce the number of bands I use until I can do it unassisted. Those bands are providing a lot of assistance. So I got a lot of work to do. That's it. Just this red one today. Yes! That's my first time on the red one. Yes! I think I can manage my first one today. Yeah. 
Two days ago I was still using the bands, today I'm doing two unassisted. That's progress. That's two down, three to go. So I figured I should probably share what I've learned to get to this point. First, you gotta be strong. Even before I started training for this, I still was able to do five unassisted pull-ups, which by the way, is no easy task. The trick is transferring your weight over the bar. You wanna bend your legs on the way up and straighten them as you rotate your forearms round. This helps shift your weight forward and over the bar. Then you use your chest and triceps to press yourself upwards. Anyway, on with the video. Come on, Michael, come on, come on. This episode of Learn Quick is proudly sponsored by Squarespace. So if you've never heard of Squarespace, it's an online website building tool and it allows you to quickly and easily create a website from scratch, no coding required. So rather than tell you how easy it is to build a website with Squarespace, I figured I'd just build one myself and see how quickly I could do it. I went ahead and started with the Encore template and created a nice minimal website. You can see the link in the description. And it has a contact form, some embedded videos, social media links, and I did this in all under two hours. It even flawlessly works on mobile devices with no coding required. Right now, if you sign up with the link squarespace.com forward slash Mike Boyd, you'll get a free trial and save 10% at checkout. And that lets Squarespace know you came from here, which helps out the channel. Anyway, Thank you very much for watching.